Alright, are you ready? Yeah. In my third in my third week of college, I let my longboard to a friend. An hour later, I found him with a torn up lip and bleeding knees. He said he was going down a hill and just couldn't stop. Just imagine if your bicycle didn't have brakes. I tried to teach him how to stop, and I realized that I was telling him, okay, when you're going down this concrete hill at 12 miles per hour, stick your foot out. Bicycles have brakes. Scooters have brakes. Longboards have a foot. <laughs> so that day, I started working a board brake. The attachable brake from a longboard. All you do is clip it to your back axle, and when you want to stop, step down on the lever, and it will stop your back wheels with a force of friction. For experienced longboarders, board brake allows you to go faster, and it gives you more control. For new longboarders, it basically acts as sexy training wheels. It means that you can learn how to longboard much more easily, and makes the adaptation rate of longboards much faster. One of my best friends has been wanting to longboard for ages, but he could never pick it up. One day he was in my room, and I let him use my prototype for what he made. I think I still have, yeah, I still have residue on my fingers. Uh, a prototype that I made like in my dorm room kitchen. And he was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, as soon as this releases, I'm buying a longboard. Um, so we've gone through over 25 uh, design iterations and four prototypes. Um, on my team are two third-year industrial designers from the Rhode Island School of Design. Uh, I'm currently studying at Brown Economics and Renewable Energy Engineering. We have had mentorships from uh, Brown Mechanical Engineers, industrial designers, and mentors from MIT, uh, and faculty from both Brown University and the Rhode Island School of Design. Uh, we are currently filing for a micro anti provisional patent. So basically, the reason I started building this was because I wanted one for myself. So I went online and I googled at, at break for longboards. And I really only could find one company that supp supplied something like this. Now their technology costs $250. The board itself, on average, costs $200. Um, and they require you to drill into your deck, something that I was not willing to do. And so I continued and I thought through it and I went to Google Patents and looked at all the patents. Basically, everything there is either too expensive, can't be attached to your, to your board without drilling, and it's not efficient. Board break can be attached to any longboard within two minutes and can be removed without leaving a trace. Board break can be mass produced in the United sorry, custom manufactured in the United States for $7 and mass produced overseas for $3. Most importantly, it's completely intuitive. If I longboard and I want to turn right, I lean right. If I want to turn left, I lean left. With, long, with board break, if I want to stop, I twist my heel and lean backwards. Basically, to validate the product, I called over 20 different skate stores and talked to managers and others. 7 out of 10 told me that they would purchase the product for themselves and carry it in the store. And they gave me an average price range of between $30 and $50. <laughs> in the United States alone, 1.3 million longboards are sold each year. And in 2010, there was a rise in the sale of longboards by over 43%. Now, if I can stop what I initially learned, and it's easy for me or for me to do that, this number goes even higher. So 70% adoption, I think, is too high. So let's assume that only a third of long orders purchase will break. Now, if we retail for $35, by the way, that's about the cost of a helmet, and it could be manufactured in the US for $7, that's a per year profit of $12 million. If we retail it and incur the 50% markup, then it's $6 million profit per year. Basically, to produce this, we need $67,000, and within six months, we break even. Uh, the prices basically go, we're going to custom manufacture it in New Hampshire, um, and that's what the money is going to be used for. Um, basically, this is a perfect product for Kickstarter, as I'm sure you guys thought of already. The main reason is it's a disruptive, disruptive technology for longboarding. Because it's not only the utility that this brings, because every single longboarder has had the problem of, like, I'm drawing my foot, I'm ruining my shoes, like, what is this stupid method? And everybody has thought of, like, maybe I'll build something like this. The thing is, I've spent months developing it, and I've thought through it, and I've figured out ways that nobody else has. And I've partnered with people and asked for help. Um, and we figured out a way of doing it. And the thing is, this is why people back Kickstarter campaigns. So once we do this, we're going to continue and maybe put a YouTube uh, and sponsor the video that says, OK, how to stop a longboard. Um, in addition to that, most longboards are sold online by retailers who let you pick your own board, pick your own wheels, pick your own deck. And in the future, we'll let you add a board break. So they funnel us in. Most importantly, though, when I see this on your board, I go, what is that? Where'd you get, where'd you get that? I want that. Because longboard is right to get it. And once you see something like this, and this looks sexy. It's like something that came out of StarCraft. I, I want to use this. Um, yeah, so then finally, there's licensing fees. 
um, go to the major longboarding uh, manufacturers and say, hey, do you want to license this? Because this is a cool thing, and this makes people buy longboards. So we have a bicycle break. It's about time we got a board break. and very easy to understand. So, and then you said 67K, which was, I found a very precise number. Uh, how did you what arrive did you at that number? Um, okay, so basically, we're gonna put $10,000 towards the prototyping, just because even though I know exactly what we're gonna do, I wanna make sure that the materials are spot on. I wanna do testing to make sure that it lasts for 12 months. Um, it doesn't break every single time. Well, it will break for every single time. What type of springs, everything, I want to know perfect. So that's the $10,000. $20,000 goes towards tooling, and we're going to do this in a custom manufacturing house in New Hampshire. Um, $7 per unit times 5,000 units, so you've got $35,000, and then we're going to put $2,000 towards testing with uh, Google Ads and some magazine ads for longboarding. But again, Kickstarter and the retail websites. Is, and word of mouth, that's how it gets publicity. All right, that's that. <laughs> Thank you so much.